Hi guys, this is Mr. Rego. Welcome to our video 3 of our series beat the test a review for the geometry of CXM. So we're gonna continue with question number seven. Um it says an architect is designing a condominium. A side view of the top of the building is shown in the diagram below. The measure of angle M and T. Here we go. Now we get to the information. Angle M and T is 72 degrees. Okay, M and T is 72 degrees. So this is the angle they're talking about. The measure angle QTS is 34. QTS is 34. Oh, they'll give me that angle also. The drawing already. SQ is parallel to MN. SQ, this line, is parallel to MN, to this line. Okay, so let's see what was the reason for that. So that line is parallel to that line. All right, what is the measure of angle Q -R QSR? All right, so they're asking me for this one. This is the question. All right, cool. So the idea is to get the information that we have and get to the one that we don't have. So let's talk about this on the top. Um, so what happens there is the following. You have an angle 74, this line is part of to this line, all right? Uh, I got the angle 34. So the idea is the following. To find this angle, I have two choices. I need to find ang the angle Q here in the top and angle uh, T, S, Q, this on the bottom. I gotta find those two angles. Or I can find this angle and do the supplementary angles. Or one more, if I find Q and I have T, then my exterior angle, this angle R, S, Q is an exterior angle. It will be equal to the sum of the two opposite angles. It will be equal to the sum of this angle and 234, okay? So my angle, R S Q will be the equal to the sum of those two. So I gotta find those two. I got 34 already. I gotta find this one on the top. There's a reason for them to give me these two lines parallel. Okay? So if these two lines are parallel, I can do a lot of stuff with those two lines. So those two lines, I'm gonna extend those two lines. They're parallel. Therefore, this angle is also 72 degrees. Okay? And if that angle is 72, then uh, this line and this line up RL, then this in the interior is 72 as well. Okay, so that's 72, that's 72. Again, let me erase that. The lines are parallel lines. Okay, so this is 72, and I can say that this is 72 by corresponding angles. So that's 72 as well. All right, how can I find the in interior angle? Well, you know that the sum of those two equals 180. So 180 minus 72 is going to give me 108 therefore the inside angle the inside angle is 108 now i have my triangle i have this triangle all right not too nice this is 34 this angle is 108 all right just to make sure that you understand what angles i'm talking about and then i extended this line and i'm talking about i need to find this angle this angle is angle Q, Q, uh, Q, S, R. And this angle is equal to the sum of the two interior, opposite interior angles. So this angle is equal to 108 plus 34, which is equal to 142 degrees, 142. Again, the exterior angle is equal to the sum of the two interior opposite angles. 108 plus 34 is 142, and here's the angle. And that's the answer for number seven. Now let's get to question number eight. What is the measure of each of the interior angles in the pentagon below? You notice 5x plus 5, 4x minus 10. They're not giving me anything. They're all of them have a variable, which is x. Therefore, I have no idea. I gotta find out what's going on. So there's one formula that I can use. If you notice, all of them are interior angles, which is the inside. So to find the sum of the interior angles, I have the formula. Sum of the interior angles of any, any polygon, interior angles, all right? Equals to n minus two times 180 n minus 2 times 180. But what's n? n is the number of sides. Okay, they're saying that this is a pentagon, so the sides are 5. 1, 2, 3, 
4 and 5. All right, pentagon, 5 sides. So I have to do 5 minus 2 times 180, which is 3 times 180. And 3 times 180 is 540 degrees. So all the sum of all the angles equals 540. There you go. I just said it. That's my equation. If I add all the angles, let's start with this one on the top. 5x plus 5. All right, that angle. Plus the next one, 4x minus 10. Oh, but hold on. I got 4x minus 10 and 4x minus 10. So I have two of those. So I can say 4x minus 10 and another 4x minus 10. But just put it 2 times 2. And then on the bottom, these two are the base angles, and they are the same as well. 4x plus 15, 4x plus 15. So I have two of those. 4x plus 15 plus 4x plus 15. 4x plus 15. And like I said, the sum of them, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 angles equals 540 because I just found the sum of the interior angles. All right? So I need to just solve this equation. So let's go, let's do the x's. 5, 4 is 9, 13, 17, 21. I got 21x. And then the numbers, 5 minus 10 is negative 5, minus 10 is negative 15, plus 15 is 0, 0 plus 15 is 15, equals 540. So for x, minus 15, minus 15, cancel out, 21x equals 540, that's 525, and then I divided by 21 on both sides, and my value of x, but 25 divided by 21 is equal to 25, 25, okay, so, 525 divided by 21 is 25. Okay, I don't have the angles, but I have the x. Now it's just a matter of plugging in the value of x. Let's go. Let's get a blue one. Here we go. So let's plug it into the first one. 5 times 25 plus 5. 5, so let's go this. 5 times 25 plus 5. 5 times 25, this is 125. Oh my God, that's 5 is horrible. Plus 5 is 130. That's my first angle. Then I said that I have two 4x minus 10s. All right, so let's do 4x minus 10. So it's going to be 4 times 25 minus 10. Remember, it's 4x minus 10. x is 25. So 4 times 25 is 100 minus 10 equals 90. All right, so I got a 130, and I got two, of, two angles equal to 90. And now the base angles, which are 4x plus 15. So let's do 4x plus 15 equals 4x is 4 times 25 plus 15. 4 times 25 is 100 plus 15, so you are 115. So I got two of this. Two of this and 130. And those are my five angles. I think that's all what they asked me. Okay, 139 and 115. Excellent. Remove to always double check the question, right? To make sure that we answer the question. What is the measure of each of the interior angles in the pentagon? Each. Okay, so we got all those. One of this, two of this, and two of that. And those are five. All right, let's go to the next one. Okay, so this is question number nine. Uh, consider the figure below. Dario is a regular pentagon. So VI regular pentagon. Regular pentagon means same measure, same length for the sides, and then the angles are also the same. RIP is an equilateral triangle. Equilateral. So RIP. Equilateral means they are the same measure. But hold on. So this is equilateral. So I need to say that this is also that and that. Same mark because the pentagon is equal is, is a regular so all the sides are the same and the angles are the same my now my triangle is equilateral which means the sides are the same but i started with only one mark okay 
A E I O U. Here in the top is a square. Oh, if I started with one mark over here, that means all the sides are the same. So I ended up with all the sides are equal, guys. All right? All right, keep that in mind. But this is a square, so this is 90 degree angle. Okay, all of those are 90 degree angle. The bottom one, this is a triangle. It's an equilateral triangle, therefore it's a nice, uh, it's a equiangular. Therefore, all the angles are equal. 180 divided by 3 is 60, so each angle is 60. Each angle is 60 on this thing. Same angles, okay? Equiangular. And the pentagon is a regular pentagon, so all the angles are the same. Now, regular pentagon, remember, the sum, the sum is n minus 2. The sum of the interior angles is n minus 2 times 180. We just did a problem like that. n minus 2 is 5 minus 2 times 180. 3 minus 2 is going to give me 540. So all the sum of the angles equals 540, but all of them are the same because it's a regular pentagon. Therefore, I need to divide by 5 angles. And one, 540 divided by 5 is going to give me 108. So my regular pentagon, each angle is 108. All of them are the same. Square, 90. All of them are equal. Triangle, 60. All of them are equal. There's some there's the questions. What is the measure of angle IPE? So IPE. Let's look at IPE. Let's look at red. So IPE. IPE. So they're asking me for this little piece. That What angle is that? So remember, here we go. This is 90 because of the square. Because of the pentagon, this is 108. Because of the triangle equilateral, this angle is 60. I got to find how much is angle, that angle on the inside. So let's add all of them and, and whatever's missing to get to 360 is my angle. Again, the sum of those four angles equals 360. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do 360 minus each one of them. <coughs> minus 90 minus 108 and minus 60. So this is 150, that's 258. 360 minus 258 is 102. So this angle is 102. All right, let me take that triangle out of it so you can understand what's going on. So this angle is 102. But because all the sides are the same, then this side is equal to this, this side. Therefore, this triangle is an isosceles triangle. So these base angles are equal. All right, the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is equal to 180. So let me find out how much is the sum of those two angles. 180 minus the top one. I subtract that. 180 minus 102 gives me 78. That means that this angle and this angle, the sum equals 78, but they're equal because this is an isosceles triangle. Therefore, divide that by 2. 78 divided by 2 is 39. So each angle is 39 degrees. All right, he, here we go. That's one of the questions. The question is was angle IPE. IPE, this angle is 39 degrees. All right. Next one, angle DOU. Where's DOU? DOU. All right. On the inside, we have 108. Remember, because of my pentagon. So this angle is 108 because of the pentagon. And here, because of my square, that's 90. But again, the whole thing, the whole thing is 360. So what I do is I take 360 minus 108 minus 90. And whatever is left is going to be this angle on the outside, which is called DOU. 360 minus 108 minus 198. That's 160. That's 162. So this angle here on the outside is 162 degrees, and that's called DOU. And I'm done. Guys, remember, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, uh, hit the notification bell so you can get notified when I upload these videos. There's going to be a lot of geometry from now on until the NEOC. Thank you for watching.